guys, it's Alyssa with our Forever Farm, I'm Valerie's granddaughter, and today we're going to make some caramel apples, and this is a family tradition that I always do with my grandmother. So first, we're going to need some parchment paper, and we're going to need five to eight apples. So first up, we're going to put our parchment paper on a cookie sheet, and then we're going to put our apples onto our parchment paper. And then we're gonna be getting our sticks. So you can go to any grocery store and get sticks. So today I'm gonna choose the longer and more sturdy sticks. And so, so we're just gonna put our stick into right beside the stem and we're just gonna poke it inside. Very well. So we're gonna continue to put our sticks in. All of our sticks are in our apples, so now we will go to the caramel step. So now we're gonna start melting our caramel. So we've got the craft caramels, and we're gonna be using two of these bags. And yes, you do have to unwrap each one. Wow, that was a lot. Now, let's put two tablespoons of milk and we're gonna do one minute increments in the microwave until it's completely melted. Two tablespoons of milk. And there it is, it's ready. Let's get to making some caramel. This is the first minute of it being in the microwave. So here it is after one more minute. I'm incorporating the milk and the caramel together and I'll need to do it for about a minute longer to melt some more. So I did it for one more minute and it's really looking good now. That's the consistency we want to see. So here are our, our, our toppings. We've got nuts, we've got chocolate chips, butterscotch, sprinkles, M&Ms, gummies, more sprinkles so you can basically use anything you would like so and wait till the end so i can tell you about a topping that you can add on top of this now we're going to twirl the apple inside of the caramel make sure it's all the way in there that makes sure that all the caramel gets onto the apple you can use any kind of apple that you would like it can be Granny Smith or anything, but we like the sour apples. So after you've got your caramel and you've got the uh, extra caramel off of it, you're gonna dip it into your toppings that you would like. And the caramel does harden really fast, so. I've had to call in some reinforcements. So we're putting the caramel on twirling it around to make sure we get every spot. And then we're going to be doing the chocolate chips on this one. And you can add on, add some on top. Looks delicious. Alright, now we're going to do the peanut. Add some extra. Okay, so now we're going to do the M&Ms. It's everybody's favorite. So now we're just going to place them on the empty spots. So don't forget to wait till the end of this video to see a special treat being added on top of these caramel apples. And on the bottom here, you see how it's like extra caramel and um, m and nuts and chocolate chips. Well, that's the part I want because that looks like really good. Our 
caramel apples with our toppings are looking delicious. So now I'm gonna set it aside and we're gonna make some more. So some of the tips that we found out while doing this, that the caramel does get hard, like really fast, that you can put pretty much any topping on the apples and that you can be creative and it's very messy. Now for the special topping. So I've got my white chocolate, the special ingredient to top off our uh, caramel apples. So I'm just gonna drizzle it over the top. So after we get done wrapping these and drizzling all the chocolate, we're gonna uh, take them to my cousins. So this is what you pay seven or eight dollars for at the store and you can absolutely make these at home now. So here's our final product. We cut the bottom off of uh, the remaining of our apples of the caramel and we packaged them up, wrapped them and tied them and they're ready for delivery to my cousin's house. So hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to tell us down below what's your favorite topping on your caramel apple is.